Thursday 22nd of February and it's absolutely miserable. The rain's actually eased off a little bit now, but it was properly torrential about an hour ago. So it was raining up to above 2,000 metres last night, at least according to the weather reports. You can just about see on the trees behind me now, between the clouds, that the snow line is slowly coming down. So it's maybe at around about 18, 1900 metres now. It is set to drop throughout the day, but still, anyone's been out skiing on the mountain today, it must have got very, very wet. So I guess the lovely fine summery weather we've been having is finally over, which it's good news in terms of skiing, but yeah, this last week up to this point has been really warm, really sunny, been mid to high teens in the valley. I mean, that's it's basically a midsummer's day in England, and yeah, lovely weather, lovely views, really, really slushy snow, but that's all set to change now. So we're currently in the warm segment of the little depression that's crossing across Europe at the moment, which is why the freezing level is so high and it's very, very wet. But at some point later this afternoon or tonight, the cold front's going to pass through and the freezing level is going to plummet. So yeah, freezing levels about 2,500 metres today, but be coming down towards the valley level tonight. So I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow morning we wake up to a reasonable covering of snow in Argentia, maybe even in Chamonix. So yeah, looks like winter's back, at least for a little while anyway. So I might head up the mountain for a quick hour or so at the end of the day today, just to see what, if anything, has happened up there snowfall-wise. If I do, I'll check in with you again, but for now, heading back inside, escaping this rain and this miserable weather. So I didn't go up anywhere in the end today. The weather really deteriorated. I wouldn't be surprised if they shut all the lifts. As you can see, it's pretty horrific. If anything, the snow line seemed to go up during the day, not down from the brief glimpses of the trees that I could see. Basically, they're all brown now. There's no snow on the trees at all. So yeah, it would not have been pleasant skiing anywhere today. So yeah, definitely glad I didn't go up. But tomorrow, it is going to be a powder day. So I have to start planning for tomorrow now. I'm playing the perpetual game of where's going to be best to go, where's going to be most likely to open first, etc, etc. The answer will probably be Cormier. But yeah, as of now, torrential rain, strong winds, and not pleasant at all. So we're expecting around 20 to 30 centimetres of snow at mid mountain, or maybe just above, about 2,020 metres. And then potentially, some reports are saying 56 centimetres, maybe even more, up on the upper mountain, so above 3,000 metres. So yeah. Potentially going up high on the Valley Bonch or the Skyway in Cormier could be absolutely epic if it's not storm bound and there's not too much wind of course, but yeah. Definitely a big dump of snow on its way and things are definitely changing from the summer weather we had last week. So far it looks like it's set to stay cold for at least the next four or five days which is promising so even if we can't get out tomorrow there's more snow coming again Sunday, Monday so finally for those of you who are coming out here this weekend it might actually start to look a little bit like winter. Guess who's back? Winter's back. And what an epic day it was. So I came over here to Colmoyer in the end. It was definitely the right decision because in Argentia this morning there's maybe two or three centimetres of slushy icy snow whereas over here at a similar elevation there's nearly a foot. And of course up on the mountain there's so much more. So yeah, pretty epic conditions today. So for the first time ever there was actually a queue here when I got to the car park and there was a delay, delayed opening which I've never seen in Colmoyer before. So that shows you how much snow there was up there. But even so, it was definitely much better than being in Chamonix because basically pretty much all of the Brevent Plagere didn't open today, or at least anything worth skiing, or it was on hold until midday. And Tete de Balm at the Tour, which is where the other good skiing would have been today, that was also on hold to midday, 
which meant that basically everyone in Chamonix would have been going to Grand Monte and it would have been absolutely rammed. And yeah, remarkably, it opened at 9 a.m., which never happens, but like I say, everyone in Chamonix would have gone there, so it would have been one run and done. It would have been completely trashed by 10 a.m. So yeah, whereas Cormier, even at the end of the day, you're still being able to find fresh tracks. So for the first time in a long time, we've had a dump of snow and it's staying cold for at least the next three, four, five days. It did, there's probably more snow on the way Sunday into Monday as well. Although, won't be quite as much as there was today, but yeah, every little helps. Yeah, the sun is very strong at this time of year. So south facing slopes, even at altitude, the snow's completely cooked. So we had an amazing time first thing this morning, skiing sunny powder on the south facing slopes. But then by the afternoon, it was treacle. It was like porridge. It was really, really heavy. But north facing slopes, of course, because it's cold, it will stay fresh for days and end now. So for everyone coming out this weekend, anywhere that's north facing, as long as it's not completely tracked out, you'll be able to find some pretty nice fresh snow and it will stay that way. So there was reportedly over a metre of snow at the top of the Iguida Midi lift station this morning and three metres in places where it had drifted, so a hell of a lot of snow at altitude. It took a long time for the rain to turn back to snow in Chamonix yesterday, so it's not, obviously I wasn't up there today, so it's hard to say how much snow there would have been at mid-mountain, but as it was raining for such a long time, yeah, the, the snow at mid-mountain was not as good as you would have, I would have hoped on that side. On this side, it was brilliant, but yeah. Certainly up in the high mountains, there's been a hell of a lot of snow over the last few days. Over here, in places, if you took your snowboard or skis off in the trees and stepped off into the snow, you'd disappear up to your waist and you wouldn't be hitting the crust in the bottom, so pretty much bottomless, which is pretty rare and pretty awesome. Of course, the avalanche risk has also been pretty high, more so on the Chamonix side than this side. It was only, well, I say it was only, it was avalanche risk three today in Cormier, it's four in Chamonix above 2,000 metres, and yeah, there was a lot of winds accompanying the snow, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's been people caught out in avalanches today. Fuck me. Fuck it hell. Hey! Hey! Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Good. On this side, everywhere where they've been blasting, the, the avalanche debris and run out was pretty huge. So there's a lot of snow and a lot of, a lot of wind. So yeah, definitely worth bearing in mind if you are heading into off-piste. As for the on-piste conditions, of course, they're now absolutely amazing pretty much everywhere. Fresh snow always helps. And as it's staying pretty cold, it's gonna stay good for, a long, for basically all week, at least I'd imagine. So I think this is the first snow report I've done since the start of December where I can pretty much give wall-to-wall -wall good news. Although I started this report showing how wet and miserable it was. But yeah, if you're coming out now, that rain doesn't matter because it's been snowing and it's going to continue to snow. So yeah, for at least next week, the snow conditions are going to stay pretty good on piste and off piste, as long as you can find something that's been not, not been tracked out completely. So yeah, lucky you if you're due to be coming out this week. Make the most of it. Have fun. Of course, stay safe. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful up there right now and everything is brilliant. So happy days. Oh.